All right, hello everybody, it's Axter99 here. Just want to go ahead and do another quick like how-to video on how to fix your Steam icons on your desktop if they show up like as a blank page. Now I do have Windows 10, I just upgraded to Windows 10 like a couple weeks ago from Windows 7. I held on as long as I possibly could. But what I want to show you guys is normally your um, desktop icons look like this. You know, they'll have like a little icon for your different Steam games uh, on your desktop. But I want to go ahead and show you something. Sometimes you will find a game, let's say Fancy Veer here, one of my Steam games, which I've uploaded an icon to Steam, but sometimes if you, you know, when you install a game, it doesn't have to be one of my games, it could be any Steam game. So if you come in here and we say add desktop shortcut for Fancy Veer, one of my games, you'll see that when it uh, makes a shortcut like this, uh, it makes like a white page, and so any of your Steam games might look like this, and that's what this video is trying to help you guys fix, okay? So the first thing you want to do if you have Steam desktop icons that look like this that don't have the icon, chances are probably very high that the developer has sent in a client image for your desktop. It's just not reading it correctly. So I want to show you guys how to fix this issue. So the first thing you want to do is go to Steam, go to your library, and look on the left hand side and find the game that's giving you the you know the the blank image so here we're going to look at fancy beer right and we're going to go ahead and right click on it and the first thing you want to do is go down to properties and then go to your local files and first thing you want to do and you want to do this you want to verify the integrity of the game files now the integrity of the game files is probably fine but there's a reason you're doing this right here you're making sure that uh, the files for the game are in the folder they need to be so you can get this client image. Okay, so after you go to the local files, again, that's by properties. Let's go ahead and show you that again, guys. Click, find the image on your Steam list by going to library, right? Look on your list on the left-hand side. Right-click on the game that's giving you the blank image. Go to properties. Go to your local files tab up here and then verify integrity of the game files. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and right click on the blank game on your desktop. You're going to go to properties here. Okay. Now here you're going to want to click this change icon desktop. Now if you have a different version of Windows than Windows 10, um, it might be a little bit different, but it's basically going to be the same. So you just ask down in the comments if you have a question about how to do it on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or whatever. Um, but I'm assuming most people are probably on Windows 10. Anyway, so again, right click. On the blank image, go to properties, and you'll see a window pop up like this. Here, we want to click this change icon box. Now, by default, this box is going to come up with a whole bunch of default Windows uh, images. That's not what you want. So, you want to go ahead and click the browse button right here. And so, I don't know what this is going to come up with when you click browse. It's going to go into whatever folder you last had. So, let's just say that. It's on my documents folder, okay? By default, because that's the last folder I was in. So let's just say it's the wrong folder when you click browse. So then what you're gonna wanna do is just go down to your main hard drive where it's gonna be like, you know, your default hard drive that Steam is installed on. So whatever hard drive you installed Steam on, it's probably gonna be on your main hard drive. I'm gonna come down here, and if you don't have my PC opened up, make sure you open up my PC. Double click on your main hard drive that you installed Steam on, if you remember. Um, and then you're going to want to look for program files times 86. So double click that one. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for the Steam folder. Okay. It's all in alphabetical order. So double click on Steam. At this point, we want to go ahead and scroll down and go into Steam apps. So Steam and then Steam apps. Double click that. At this point, we'll click on common at the top. So again, you have your, your hard drive. You can look up here and see where I'm at. I have my hard drive, I have program files 86, I have Steam, and then Steam Apps. So then once you click on the uh, common folder right there, you should find in there the game that's giving you the blank image. Look, here I go into Fancy Veer, and you'll find the, the application that has the uh, image that you want. Just double click that, and it's going to show up right here in your change icon box. You're just going to hit OK. And then make sure you hit apply down to the bottom right. Once you do that, you'll see that you now have a desktop image for your file. Now, if this does not work, again, we're just talking about Steam games on your icon on your desktop giving you a blank image. 
If this doesn't work, guys, what you'll want to do is go into your game that's giving you the problem. It doesn't work. You'll want to go ahead and go in here to manage, uninstall the game, reinstall the game. So let's just say it didn't work. This is only if it didn't, that what I said didn't work, but if you didn't see Fancy Veer in the common folder. So we'll uninstall the game. We'll come in here, we'll reinstall the game. Make sure that you right here, make sure that you have your two check marks checked for the create desktop shortcut, uh, create start menu shortcut. Hit next, make sure you have your, you know, your, your hard drive that you're installing on correct. And then you'll hit finish. And then here, let's just say that it was a blank image again. Then you're going to go ahead and repeat the process for what I just said. You're going to go in here, you're going to come over here, you're going to hit properties, you're going to go to local files, verify the integrity. And then you'll come over here, go to properties, and then you'll again go to change icon. You'll go browse, and here you're going to go and let's just say the hard drive, uh, file, program file times 86. You're going to look for Steam. You're going to look for Steam apps. You're going to look for common. And then you should, at that point, you should see the game that's giving you the blank image in here. Open the folder, double click the uh, image file, click OK, make sure you hit apply. So hopefully that helps you guys uh, that have a blank image for a Steam game on your desktop fix that. If not, let me know down in the comments below. But if this uh, video has helped you uh, find an image for those blank games on your desktop from Steam, be sure you give me a thumbs up, guys. Be sure you say thanks or something down there in the comment below. I'd love to read those kind of comments. Uh, also, make sure you guys are staying safe out there. Make sure you're doing that social distancing and, you know, make sure you're not getting that junk out there, guys. Stay home. Be responsible. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zach's 99. Love you all. Take care.